Ladies and gentlemen, the American Cheering Bulldog Nation, welcome to Eric Dieter's Pop Culture. Let's have some fun. Taylor Swift did not get nominated once or twice or 10 times or 15 times. 20 nominations for Billboard Music Awards. Incredible. And guess what else? She flew out to Kansas City to spend Halloween. Since everybody this Halloween is being Taylor Swift and Kelsey, uh, uh, Kelsey, what? Who? Who is? Who's? Who are they going to be? Who are they going to be? This is kind of wild, man. This Catholic priest who does exorcisms, he says demons and angels are real, and he advises against messing around with the Ouija board because he thinks the Ouija board can really, in fact, call up the demons. Have you ever done a Ouija board? I have not. Have you? Yes. You have? Yeah. Did you get a demon called up? No. What about you, Josh Wentz? I have not, no. All right, big news. Channing Tatum is marrying Zoe Kravitz, Lenny's daughter. Some guys have all the luck. All right, the Kardashians signed a deal with Skims and NBA because they've dated all of them. Van Halen's last album is not being released because David Lee Roth, who looks a little bit different in his uh, heyday, is holding it up. It's his right to veto its release. Wolfgang Van Halen isn't very happy about it. He needs to go on a carb diet, but we still like his music. This is wild. They found water 400 miles below the Earth's surface and some gigantic water thing. Maybe it'll save the world. The single bullet theory of JFK assassination is under attack some more from a, a modern day animator that says, nah, baby, nah, couldn't happen. Yellowstone is hotter than hell on CBS. Hell, they're gonna start streaming it after they start airing it. Yellowstone's the hit of the world. And then you got this guy right here, Magic Johnson. One of four athletes who are billionaires. Tiger Woods, Michael Jordan, LeBron, and Magic. Now, what do those four have in common? They're all black. Thank God we don't have to deal with the racist issue on what athletes are billionaires. How come Ronaldo's not a billionaire yet? Or Beckham? They will be. You watch. They will be. Steve Ballmer. He's apparently worth $115 billion, fifth richest man in America. They think he might even overtake his former boss. He was second in command to him. He owns the L.A. Clippers. All right, Carol Middleton. I feel sorry. This is your kind of story. I feel bad for Carol Middleton. During the pandemic, her little uh, business for special occasions, you know, throwing birthday parties, party favors, and all that, kind of went under, and she got bought out by this guy named Sinclair. And he's being a real ass. He's saying, well, she didn't make any money. You know, she lost money, blah, blah, blah. Poor sweet Carol Middleton, the princess's mom, is getting trashed by the buyer. It pisses me off. I like the Middletons. I know why. All right. Levi, the CEO of Levi Jeans, says you shouldn't wash your jeans. You should shower in them. I am not going to shower in jeans. How the hell do you take them off when they're wet? I was going to say that. Right? Yeah. I'm not going to listen to that advice. Thank you, Josh Wentz and Jamie Spinley, for your contribution to today's show. It's about time you did something for me. This is the Bulldog every talk yesterday. Have a great day.